This is for you haters. Hey, Jonesy Babes, and welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday to you all. So, last night, I didn't listen to the phone calls that um, phone calls from prison dropped, but I listened to it this morning. And I am just totally disgusted. First of all, my heart goes out to the victims, okay? Why Nesto is telling that little boy's business about him having autism, that he's autistic. And I'm so disgusted with Sonia because this is absolutely insane. So when she's reading the charges, at any point, she, she didn't tell us though, well, gosh, man, you got a lot of stuff going on here. What's going on? Her antenna didn't go up. It just seems like he's blaming everything on everybody else except for himself. He feels like he's being set up. These two are so delusional, it's ridiculous. Grand Theft Nesto and Patty Kate are absolutely insane. I'm, I'm, I I'm, know they're insane now after hearing this phone call. It's just sickening. It's sick. It's sick. And then he's trying to throw Erica under the bus because he's talking about she said this is what she do and he didn't know she wasn't. Listen, he knew Erica for 20 years. I'm not buying that. He knew this girl for a very long time. They did business together. Okay? They are Mr. and Mrs. Khan artists. All right? He's upset because homegirl is out and she flipped on him. That's what he's mad about. Because he's it, also he's mad because he's still sitting in jail. And he can't get out. And he doesn't need to get out. I just can't wait for the trial. I, I can't because they are blaming the victims, especially Sonia, Miss Patty Kate. She is blaming the it's the victim's fault. She the way she's talking in this call, everything is the victim's fault. Oh yeah, but they knew this and they knew that. And then at some point, when they was talking about Miss Melody, right? And I guess because in I think May, she didn't really see him. So she had to, she had the nerve to say. Oh, that's why I could. That's why um I couldn't find you because you was out there messing with 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 Melody, with them, with them women. Girl, is that what you're concerned about? What he was doing at that time? And he said, "You don't know what you're talking about." Then it seemed like at some point they was getting into it. They was getting into it, but they're not getting into it. If you caught it. Because he's Sonya that was saying how as a married man he was doing too much. You know, he had a wife, he was doing too much, and that it's not in him to be faithful. But she's saying all that for herself because she feels a way about Nesto. She wants to be with him. But Sonya knows his character. She knows his character. She knows that even if he did get out and be with her for a little while, he's going to still be out there with other women. She knows that. She knows that. She don't want to accept it, but she knows it. He snapped back at her and said, <laughs> one of those days, I was with your ASS. I was like, oh, oh. So, Nesto, did you just tell us that you was with Sonya while you was with Miss Shirley. He did. I think he did. Let me know if I heard right. 
break it down to me in the comment section. Because, and then, you know, after that, she ain't saying nothing else. She ain't saying nothing else. But it's really disgusting how how Miss Thing over there is. They both are victim blaming. Both of them. They both are victim blaming. She was reading the charges about the house over there. 980 and 990 PGR. That's Pine Grove Road. And that um, what was in the yard, the Bentley and the Harley D's and the ambulance. And they just fucking stupid. They just they just really talking stupid. And he was saying how the vehicles were at, at Erica's house because her husband was doing some work on the floor inside the um vehicles. Okay. Also, like I said, this goes back to Erica. Ernest knew Erica wasn't a lawyer. I don't care what name she used. And I think somebody in my comment section said that April Holloway is her neighbor. She was cool with her neighbor. And I think she used her neighbor's name. I'm not sure, but somebody said that in my comment section. I got to find it. Sonia basically saying that Erica tricked him. And that Erica was painting their relationship differently. No, Erica didn't trick. Erica, are you listening to this, girl? Are you listening to this? Now, I'm not sure if you can get on the internet. But, girl, you need to get on this internet and listen to these phone calls. Because Nesto is trying to do you in. But I know you got something up, up underneath your sleeve, honey. And I can't wait for you to pull it out. And I want to be there when it's done. <laughs> I do. I do. Girl, what do you have in store for him? You got to have something. You got to have something for this man. I can't wait to see what it is. I really can't. Nesto think the police are setting him up. He think everybody is setting him up. Like he didn't cause any of this stuff. Everybody is setting him up. And you got Miss Patty Cake over there being so gullible and eating up everything and victim blaming. I said, you know what? I heard enough. I heard enough. What really made me stop the tape, and I stopped, I had to stop it for a little while. What really made me stop listening was when he said Shirley was his witness. Okay. Some guy he was talking to, and Shirley was there. So he made it seem like Shirley was there at a point and could vouch for him. Leave Shirley out of this. And if I were Shirley, I would have me a lawyer waiting on the side. If she could afford it, a lawyer waiting on the side. Because I feel like Nesto is trying to just bring out anybody he could to set himself free. So, but I have a feeling. I have a feeling that when it's time for him to go to court... And go on trial for all this stuff. We're going to find out some other things that we definitely didn't know about. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it. But I just want to come in and say how disgusted I am with this phone call. I am disgusted with Nesta. I am disgusted with Sonia. You, all this victim blaming, it's not a good look. And it's horrible. And for Sonia to be a woman, and she's doing all this victim blaming. Oh, mm. I don't even want to say it. I don't want to disrespect nobody. Like, for real, for real. Because I could say some nasty stuff about her right now. But I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Because guess what? Next, I'm going to show her who he really is when it's all said and done. And she's going to be sitting there looking stupid. And she's going to be on her bed crying, wrapped up in her damn going receiving blanket. But anyway... I'm out. I, I'm this this call got me so messed up. I just don't like victim blaming, especially when you know everything this person has done, and still not taking any accountability for it. And he never will, because Nesto feels like he's not supposed to be sitting in jail. 
He feel like he's being set up by everybody else and that he didn't put himself in this predicament. But he going to get it, though. He going to get what's coming to him. And I can't wait to see it. And I'll talk to you guys later.